The United States of America is heading for its midterm elections in about 10 days from now. The results of these elections will decide the kind of laws that people in America will get in the remaining term of President Joe Biden. And what is interesting is that the former President Barack Obama is now trying to do something that he could not do during his own two terms as the President of the United States. He's trying to use his outstanding speeches to try and sway the Democrat voters and the voters in general in America to in fact vote for bolstering Joe Biden's second half of his presidency. And this of course is to help the Democrat Party win the midterm elections. And Obama is currently said to be very popular still amongst the Democrat voters. But can he actually make the American people to vote for the Democrats is a different question altogether. People in America and indeed in the rest of the world want to listen to Barack Obama speak. But will the American citizens turn up to vote for the Democrats is something that we'll get to know on the day of the midterm elections. But the prospects of Joe Biden's administration are looking pretty glim. Now with his bright smile rolled up sleeves, his rhythmic diction and jokes eliciting laughter from the, from the crowd, Barack Obama joined the campaign trail on Friday in Atlanta and Georgia. He then went on to hold a string of rallies in places such as Michigan and Wisconsin. While he was in Michigan campaigning for his party, the former linked Friday's attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband to the divisive political rhetoric that is now being heard in the United States. And moments later, a heckler interrupted Barack Obama's speech, but then the heckler was escorted out of the auditorium. And what is interesting is that Barack Obama used the heckler to prove his point about campaigning with civility. Listen in to how this unfolded. There is a process that we set up in our democracy. Right now, I'm talking. You'll have a chance to talk sometime soon. We don't have to interrupt each other. We don't have to shout each other down. It's not a good way to do business. It's that you wouldn't do that in a workplace. If you wouldn't just interrupt people in the middle of a conversation. It's not how we do things. And this is part of the point that I want to make. Just basic civility and courtesy works. And that's what we want to try to encourage. Now, the upcoming stops in his campaign trail are Nevada and Pennsylvania for Obama. The goal is, of course, to try and energize the undecided American voters and those who are tired of the political slugfest that resembles a sort of a cockfight that goes on 24 bar 7 on news channels in America. And this is something where the American people say they are absolutely tired of and they want a new kind of politics that is much more civil and that sticks more to facts. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.